Welcome back friends to TV Box Stop, the channel for the best reviews in TV boxes and accessories. Today's video features a 1080p projector from Yoton and this model is called the Yoton Y9. It comes certified to play Netflix, Prime Video and YouTube in HD 1080p with HDR. So this review focuses on the quality and brightness of its display, its certification and streaming capabilities, its interface and its audio capabilities. So that starts right after this unboxing. The Y9 has a native resolution of 1080p. Its brightness is 450 ANSI lumens, a contrast ratio of 5000 to 1, aspect ratio of 4 to 3 and 16 to 9. Its light source is LED and its display is LCD. A maximum display size of 100 inches at 2.94 meters, Dolby audio support, Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi connectivity. So I've completed the unboxing and in this package features the Y9 model itself. One infrared remote with a dedicated Netflix, Prime Video and YouTube buttons. One HDMI cable. A 19 volts 3.1 amps DC power supply. One AC power cable for the power supply. A screw type kickstand. A user manual and a quick start guide. Its design consists of a front facing IR sensor with its projector lens and a lens cover, one HDMI, a USB, auxiliary input, power adapter socket, and exhaust vent to its side. At the top features a manual focus adjustment wheel, a vertical keystone correction lever, and manual press button controls, a rear facing IR sensor, and internal speaker vent to the back, and to its base features four rubber feet, its intake vent, and a screw mounting hole for the included kickstand or mounting to a ceiling. So the Y9 falls within the medium size budget category and upon startup you have a simple Yoton splash screen then you have a first startup wizard to connect to your Wi-Fi network and set up some system configuration options. So this is the launcher and it's running a tailored version of Android TV OS and it also has a Netflix ESN certification. In the settings area, you have picture mode settings where you can change its color preset or set your own custom brightness and color settings. You have audio options where you can select from audio presets or set your own treble and bass. You also have a surround sound audio feature. You have dual band Wi-Fi options and even though it's not a Wi-Fi 6 adapter, it connects to my Wi-Fi 6 router on the 5GHz AX band. You get projection and direction settings for front and rear projection in both desktop and ceiling configurations. You have Bluetooth audio options and your system firmware and license information. Its Android operating system is Google certified with HDCP protection and with its Netflix ESN certification, you can watch Netflix movies in full HD 1080p with HDR. If you have Prime Video, you can also watch Prime Video movies in 1080p. And you can also watch YouTube videos in HD 1080p quality. For watching self-hosted videos, it can play HD 1080p videos only and videos with Dolby Atmos and a Dolby Digital Plus decoding. It cannot play 4K or other 1080p videos that are encoded with DTS HD Master Audio, DTS X, Dolby Surround or Dolby True HD. It's Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio with powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with 10 point accuracy. For viewing images in a loop, it comes with an image looping software with speed adjustment and a transition feature.
We already saw that it can play Netflix and Prime Video's movies internally, but it's also compatible with certified streaming devices connected via HDMI such as the Google Chromecast and Amazon Fire TV devices. This is a video sample from the Google Chromecast and it plays in HD 1080p with HDR and audio. The same applies for the latest version of the Amazon Fire TV Cube. Mirroring your mobile devices is quick and easy. Simply open the screen sharing feature and scan with your mobile phone for the projector's ID and peer to it. For an optimal display quality test, I will play a 4K AV1 video via an Android box connected to its HDMI port. So as mentioned, this is a budget model, so its lumens and focus adjustments are average in comparison to high-end models, but I must admit its display is pretty good for a budget model. To test its latency during gaming, here I have it connected to my gaming PC, and with my gamepad connected to my PC, I'm not having any difficulty playing the game due to delayed response. In this car, you're going to spend a lot of time going sideways. Use each drift to carry more momentum out of the corners. And for connecting to Bluetooth audio devices, you simply open the Bluetooth settings and scan for nearby devices and pair the projector to them. In testing its fan noise level, the Y9 generates 42 decibels of noise from a distance of 1 meter. So viewers, there you have it. This was my review of the Yoton Y9 1080p Netflix certified projector. This projector is a great gift for your kids to be used in smaller spaces. It's not too expensive and it delivers a decent display with Netflix and Prime Video certification. So if you would like to grab one of these inexpensive models, you can do so on Amazon using the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, give this video the thumbs up as always to show your support, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to be notified each time I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway, stay tuned and see you in the next one.